Oh, I'll try. You ready? I don't know. Things can turn really, really pear shaped in here. I'll give it a go. Did I make it? Stay tuned and find it out. G'day, welcome to 4x4 Adventure WA. This time we're in Pemberton. Uh, it is a western part of Albany. Uh, well, it's not really really Albany, but it's part of the um, uh, Southern Forest in WA. Uh, we started in this spot called Moon Crossing. So we came here at dark and we are so glad that we found this camp spot. It's empty. Uh, this is actually a very wicked spot. Flat ground, large area, and it's got, it's pretty well sheltered. Look at the trees at the, uh, at the background. This weekend's adventure involves uh, traveling, venturing from the uh, from the bush to the coast. Uh, let's see if we can find a track and see what happens. guys back again um, so we've traveled through the forest in Pemberton uh, finally we have arrived this uh, station this is the information station um, of the Calcup Hill so the Calcup Hill is a pretty um, sandy hill and apparently gets really soft from time to time um, Donnacastle National Park Ho hope I pronounced it correctly uh, you've got to deflate your tires pretty well um, to make sure you don't get stuck all the time. We deflate our tires very well. And by the way, at the back is Murray from uh, the Four Wheel Drive Club in Albany. Uh, so he's very keen in checking um, checking out some tracks um, in Pemberton. Right, so this is a famous cow cup hill. Uh, it's a very long hill to climb, and um, the uh, the only trick to this endurance hill is to deflate your tires to the right um, pounds of your car. Uh, that way, you uh, you're less likely to get stuck, and you're less likely to lose traction. Climbing up nicely, just crawling up, keeping the momentum, things like that. Right, so um, here it is. Uh, we stopped by the Warren River mouth and checking out this crossing. Uh, in winter time apparently um, it's usually not a crossable river mouth. It's probably salty water. The other way to go through uh, to cross this river is obviously going around. Uh, we have to climb back up the dune system again from there and then all the way back. As you can see there's no way to cross the river. Both Mary and I decided to climb this Kalkab dune all the way back up. And straight away we found a nice spot and call for the day.
right there. Um, it was just so easy. Uh, if, you, if you run the tire pressure low enough, or you get less uh, enough air in your tire, then um, it will just make it so easy. So see how important um, deflating tire is. And we are at the top of Calcup Hill. It was, a, it was a pretty good day today as well, pretty warm in a sense. Uh, well, it's a little, it's a little bit soft and lots of people have been uh, going down and going up. Um, contacted quite a fair bit, but it's just it's not as difficult as you think. Welcome to Off With Recipes. Um, so this time we're in, uh, in the campsite cooking this chicken soup. Thanks for um, four wheel drive 24-7 for a wrap for a bit of uh, recipe okay. reference. So this is actually pretty easy, just mix up everything. We've got stock, stock cubes, um, diced chicken breast, and all these sort of tomato and vegetables. Uh, we've got potato, we're going to chop it in, uh, in the small pieces, and then drop it in the um, camper oven. So uh, let's get started. We've got uh, some sweet corn as well. So just mix up everything, give a bit of flavor, salt and pepper, and uh, just wait for it to boil and wait until it gets ready. Let's get started. So, potato first. Now we've got some water uh, sort of boiling in the camper oven. Let's get it cut. This needs to be bright. Bright shopping, bit of tomato or yes, tomato. Decided to try. Oh. That's all good. Oh, that's hot. It'd be nice if we had some music. Now, just cut uh, an onion, just one. Mm -hmm. and apparently, according to my wife, uh, onion makes the soup a little bit sweeter. Don't know if it is true. Yeah. Stop. Ah, looks a bit yucky, but that's what it is. <laughs> ah, it's pretty hot up there. The one that, yeah, they do. It's pretty hot up here. Oh jeez. So last but not least, we've got sweet corn. Ah, uh, yeah. That looks a lot to me. Now just the chicken, all of it. Yeah. So I just put all of it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you use this one? Oh, because my hands are already dirty. Right, you say enough water? Yes. Soup happy. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave it as it is. Now just give it a good old stir. Uh, make sure everything's evenly distributed. Right, last day at camp. Um, so today we are going to uh, check out the Agrab Dunes. Uh, so this is a campsite here that's really, really beautiful and uh, very clean as well. Uh, so everyone's uh, done packing and uh, we're about to head off. the day didn't quite go as planned. Originally we planned to cross this Warren River so that we can get to the other side and Jaeger up. However, we found that the river was quite deep when, and with a bit of raging current as well, it was quite dangerous uh, to even risk sending the car through. Um, so we have to leave this river crossing next time and uh, take a bigger detour around it. Coming back a uh, very tricky bit. Yes, a little bit slippery uh, at some point. We'll see what happens. Just first gear low, um, 
steady throttle. Oh, I'll try. You ready? I don't know. Things can turn really, really pear shaped in here. I'll give it a go. While we were in the process of finding a way around this Warren River, uh, we found this real sloppy and tacky section, and it was very steep as well. So, we placed a few match tracks to where the tracks is lost. Uh, with a few attempts and a bit of power, we went through okay. This is the famous Jaeger up dunes. Um, it's beautiful and very windy as well. I was going to send a drone up, but looks like there is uh, no need to do so. yesterday now we are here in this inlet the outside of the inlet so it was such a good adventure this time um, Pemberton Warren River Donacastle National Park we'll be back next time see what happens if you enjoyed the video please subscribe you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at 4x4 Adventure WA. I'll see you there. If you have any suggestion to the video, please comment down below.